Hi, Chris. Hi. Could you tell me a brief history about the car, such as when it came into your possession? And it, I believe it's got a bit of a racing history, is that right? Yes, that's right. Uh, it came in my possession in 1978. It was bought uh, from a lady up in the Wirral in Cheshire. And um, she bought it uh, on a trailer back into my house uh, in Sutton Caulfield, and I paid uh, £1,500 for it. And that was when, sorry? So that was in 1978. So have you done anything to it since then? Yes, um, when we actually found it, it was in a garage with a bare light bulb on it, ladders on top of it. It had not been used for five years. Um, and um, her husband had bought it from um, a solicitor in Coventry and they would used it for a few years and then put it away, left it in the garage and they advertised it in a classic car magazine which I spotted, I went up and had a look, look uh, for it. So how many, how long did you spend actually rebuilding it then? Uh, with a friend of mine we spent about three years, uh, new seals, new jacking points, totally re um, bought the engine and bought it up to the sun that it is today. So w what was the hardest part of the rebuild? Uh, the hardest part of the rebuild was the jacking points on the seals because under the fiberglass seal there are the jacking points, which are the two yeah. chrome jacking point holes, and that was really rotted out. So uh, luckily, it's virtually the same jacking point seal as an interceptor. So at that time, Jensen Parts and Services were still around, so we were able to buy new seals for the car. And uh, regarding its racing career, you said it's raced at Snatterton, is that correct? That's right. In June 1965, it was entered by Gentle Motors in the Commander's Cup to try and retrieve the cup back from Lotus. It was driven by um, several drivers over the 24 hour race, uh, notably Roy Savadori, who was currently driving, I believe, for F1. I think I, I, think I saw that in the program about that, yes. So, um, what would you say the when you drive the car, what, what are its good characteristics and what are its bad characteristics? Does it handle well? Is it front end heavy or? It's basically very good. It was one of only three Jensen manual cars built. They only built three CV8 manuals of this model. And I believe that's why they built it as a model purely to take it to Snetterton for racing. And the car was around in 1965 in the June as the actual Mark III CV8 was not available until the London Motor Show, I believe, in October. Oh, right, right. So it was a bit ahead of its time. It was the first car in production, we do believe, to have dual circuit brakes in the country. Oh, really? Yeah. So do you have any sort of aspirations to maybe take it on a track day? Uh, yes, we have driven it around Myra. Uh, two or three years ago. It, it handles really, really well. The gearbox is very smooth. I mean, you've got to remember in 1965 you had a four-speed American Chrysler 833 gearbox with synchromesh on all four gears, um, linked up to a Chrysler 83, uh, 383 engine. So it's a Chrysler 6.276 into a Chrysler 833 gearbox. So. Do you uh, own any other classic cars? The one behind you. Oh, the E-Type? Yeah. So how long have you had that? Well, that one was my boss's car, and uh, it's a Heather Pink, because a lady bought it, and um, that was in 1975, that car was bought. Um, she kept it until her death, about four or five years ago, and I thought, well, I've known the car right virtually from you, so I better purchase it off her husband, which is what I did. So the top there is—is is that unique? That top, or did it come like that? No, that was an, a Webaster uh, uh, Sunshine roof as an optional extra, which was fitted by the dealer. Okay. Yeah. So it was originally then a fi fully fixed head coupe. That's right, and that's the original colour, heather pink. So, how many miles a year would you say you're doing them? Right, uh, the Jensen probably does about a thousand miles a year and the Jaguar probably a thousand miles a year. 
So easy to in get insurance on them? Easy to get insurance and they've always been with Heritage. Uh, yeah, right from the word go. Well, thanks very much for all the information and uh, thank you for talking about the cars. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.